Hi, welcome to Learn at Home with BIA. My name is Jim Reinheimer. I am an educational consultant at Blast Intermediate Unit 17. It is really nice to see all of you today. You happen to notice behind me for today's theme, I have what's called the great outdoors. And on this side, I would like to share an item that was made, made for me by a very good friend of mine. And this, do any of you know what this item is called? And if you do know what it's called, do you know what it is used for? This item is called a walking stick. And a walking stick is used primarily if you go out for a walk. And for my one of my favorites is to go for a hike. I love to go hiking. I love to be in the great outdoors. I love to go fishing. I love to just to be outdoors, go for a walk, go for a run. And at the same time, I can also go for a hike. And going for a hike, this is, I love using this walking stick. When I go up uphill, if I'm, say if I'm traveling over maybe stones, and it's just, a, it's, I love using a walking stick. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I love to go hiking, and in fact, I just went hiking recently. So what I would like to do right now is, I would love to share with you a short video of my latest hiking adventure. Hi friends, it's Jim. Right now I am at Katie Jane in Ryder Park in Trout Run in Lycoming County. I am on a hike. When I go hiking, I love to see different animals. I like to look at different trees, see the different kinds of leaves, and just take in what is all the nice scenery all around me, as you can see right there. So I will be showing you some of my favorite parts of today's hike. So let's see if we see any animals, and if not, we can see different trees, see different leaves. So come for a hike with me. Okay, here we are approaching the Katie Jane West Vista. You can see some of the flowers through here. This is one of my favorite views. There have been times when I would come here and I would see eagles fly, many kinds of birds. And at times I even would see deer crossing the paths. Such a nice view. Let's see if we see any other adventures on our way back. My friends, did you just hear that? What is that noise? I just heard it again. That, my friends, is what's called a woodpecker. And for the last part, we do, I got to hear a woodpecker. And any of you know what a woodpecker is? One of the creatures out in the forest I said, it makes that noise. It's, it's like they're just eating at the wood. It's so cool. I love hearing that, that sound. Throughout the rest of my hike that afternoon, 
I got to see squirrels. I did not see any deer that day. And on my way back, I would see some birds. I tried to get some pictures and, and I wanted to share with you, but the birds, of course, are too fast. So when, how many of you have ever gone on a hike? And if you've gone on a hike, have you gone with family? Have you gone with friends? When you go on a hike, I also want you to think about right now, what do you usually take with you on a hike? As I said to you, I use a walking stick. You can take, diff there's different things you can take when you go on a hike. So for example, it's always great to be prepared and to take some bug spray. Uh, some sunscreen, especially if you're out in the sun. Just in case of maybe if it's getting a little, if it's a little bit darker in the woods or maybe if it's getting toward evening, it's always great to have a flashlight with you. I also carry my items in a backpack besides my walking stick. Wear shoes that are comfortable, but at the same time that are sturdy and have good soles on the bottom. And always be uh, prepared as far as clothing. And I said, you could always just check with a parent, guardian, whoever you are going with when you go for a hike in the woods. So, and when you're going for a hike, it may be, you may just go for maybe a short period of time. Maybe it's for a long period of time. So if that's the case, and if it's for a long period of time, I don't know about you, but I get hungry. I also become thirsty. So some examples of what you can take with you when you go on a hike. For me, I like to take Gatorade. You can also take water. Take a favorite drink that you enjoy drinking. And if you get hungry, what are some foods, what's some snacks that you like to take? What I would like to do right now is I wanna share with you one of my favorite snacks to take with me and to share with you and put it together with you at this time. So I like to take trail mix. How many of you like to eat trail mix? And some of you may be wondering, what exactly, what items can I put in for trail mix? For a trail mix, honestly, for something when you go for a hike, you can take your favorite snacks, put them together. So for example, I'm gonna share with you some of the snacks that I have with, with me today. So I have chocolate chips. Going for the good stuff right away. I have M&Ms. I have, of course, Tex Mix. Baby Will Crackers. Little fishies. Pretzel sticks. Marshmallows. Some nuts. Depending on if you like to eat different kinds of nuts, such as what I have, what I have here are peanuts, almonds, and cashews. Those are my favorite kinds of nuts to eat. Some of you may not be able to eat them, and that's okay. That's why I always say, Put in for your trail mix whatever snacks that you like. I have also included cherries, little cherries. And raisins. For some reason, these look very similar. They taste a little bit different and they are delicious. Oh. So as far as how to make trail mix. Now my friends, if you wanted to add a little bit of seasoning, for some of you, maybe you like cinnamon, maybe you like, I know, think about Chex Mix when you buy it in the store, maybe some like to buy maybe what's known as the bold flavor or the cheddar flavor, you can, however you wanna make it. For me, honestly, just adding these items together is all I need, because I have all these different uh, flavors together when I go to eat them. So my question is, what do I add first?
I move this up closer to me, hopefully you can see everything here. So the first item I am going to add is, you know what, let me just add the checks mix. So what am I going to do? I'm going to dump it in the bowl. Next item, let's see, what should I use next? What do you think I should add? I'm thinking, you know what, let me just add in the almond. And me, I buy the unsalted ones. Let me add the peanut. Let me add the cashews. And as I always say, every time when you, when you, hmm, let me just say this again. Think about what you would have to do before you make any snacks, before you eat snacks, and after you eat snacks. Always remember, wash your hands, okay? For at least 20 seconds, use soap. Always remember to do that. So next, I'm going to add in the pretzel sticks. As you can see, my bowl is filling up. Next, I'm going to add in, add in some of the marshmallows, little mini marshmallows. Next, hmm, you know what? Let me add in some raisins. And if they stick together, that's okay. I just break them up a little bit. Well, while I'm at it, I might as well just add in the little cherries. For some of you, maybe you like craisins, like little cranberries, you can add them. Next, let me add the chocolate chips. You may like milk chocolate chips, you may like the dark, dark chocolate chips. Don't forget your M&Ms. And last but not least, I'm going to add in the baby whale crackers. Now, in order to eat this Chex Mix, you're thinking, wait a minute, everything is kind of together. Like all the check, all the Chex Mix is together, all the chocolate chips are together. So what do I use right now? I'm going to use a spoon. And I'm going to just simply just try to stir, stir my Chex Mix stir and mix around like so i have i have a secret to tell you this is making me hungry all right here we go now i'm thinking let's say if i want to go out for a hike this evening and i'm thinking to myself okay, I really do not want to take this bowl with me to go into the woods. So what can I do right now? This, my friends, do you know what this is called? This is a measuring cup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply scoop, scoop my mix together, and I'm going to pour them into the bag. over a little bit so you can see everything. You know what? If you if you do not like all the snacks that I that I have uh, mixed together today, that's okay. Like I said, you can add whatever snacks you want. So if I keep mixing here, scooping out all my snacks, put them together. And last scoop, here we go. Look, my friends, look what I have. I have my Chex Mix. So for my next hike, I can take this bag of Chex Mix with me. So in case if I get hungry, I can use this. And in case if I get thirsty, I can use either my Gatorade or I could take a bottle of water. Just in my case, I'm going to take both. So thank you for letting me share 
this activity with you. And to make trail mix, this is what I used. These are the items. Chex Mix, I used pretzels, M&Ms, chocolate chips, peanuts, almonds, cashews, uh, baby well crackers, raisins, cherries, and marshmallows. So let me just add that to my little chart here. All right, so, and for some of you, you may be thinking, wait a minute, I've never been on a hike before. So at this time, what I wanna do is I just wanna share with you a little social story that I found that was on teacherspayteachers.com. And here we go. This is called going on a hike. Sometimes mommy and daddy want to go to the park and go for a hike in the woods. A hike. a hike is when I walk on a path through the forest. We like to do this on a sunny day. We get to see squirrels and other animals, smell the earth and trees, feel the warmth and wind and hear the birds sing. This is a lot of fun. We might take snacks and water. Sometimes we might even get to go sleep in a tent in the forest. So this is what is called camping. I love this one, I love it. How many of you have gone camping? It's good for me to get outdoors and exercise my muscles. I will get stronger and stronger like mommy and daddy. Or think about your brothers and sisters as well. I like, I like getting to see new things and play outside with my family. Spending time together is the best. So here I just did, included my picture from my last hike. Thank you for letting me share. And to finish up today, I have just a little activity, something that I made. This is, how many of you know what this is called? This is a ladybug. And making my ladybug, I used a plate. I painted it red. I added some black foam paper for the head, as well as for the legs, for here, for my, for my eyes, as well as my mouth. So this is what I wanted to share with you today. And, here are the materials for the ladybug. Use the plate, construction paper. You can use red, black, or white. Whatever you have at the house, it's okay. I used eyes because I had eyes. And if not, you can just use black and white construction paper. Paint, I used uh, red paint for the plate. Uh, glue, scissors, and, or maybe, which I did not have was a black pipe cleaner, which then you can just glue onto your ladybug. So, just to share that with you as well. All right. And I wanted to just read with you 10 little ladybugs. Because I think about the ladybugs are out in nature. And I think about each of these animals and creatures that we would see in this story are out in the great outdoors. 10 little ladybugs sitting on a vine. Along came a butterfly. Then there were, how many there's left? Nine. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine little ladybugs skipping on a gate. Along came a caterpillar. Then there were, my friends, there were eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight little ladybugs looking up at heaven. Along came a bird. Then there were seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven little ladybugs resting on sticks. Along came a grasshopper. Then there were six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six little ladybugs flying near a high. Along came a bumblebee and then there were five. One, two, three, four, five. Five little ladybugs sleeping by the shore. Along came a fish. Then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four little ladybugs climbing up a tree. Along came a turtle. Then there were, what number comes before four? Three. One, two, three. Three little ladybugs drinking up dew. Along came a duck. Then there were, uh-oh, how many do you think were left now? That's right, two. Two, one, two. Two little ladybugs basking in the sun. Along came a frog. Then there was one. One ladybug. One little ladybug sitting all alone. Along came a breeze. Then she was, she was home. So what do we have? We have the, we have here, we have a butterfly. We have the bird. We have a grasshopper. We have a bumblebee. We have a grasshopper, I've said that one, the bumblebee, the fish, the turtle, a duck, a frog, and with the wind, we have a breeze. That was the end of my story. This was also another favorite story that I used to like to read to my students when I was a teacher. 10 Little Ladybugs. So just to share a little something I made for you. Materials are here. You can use however you want to make a ladybug today. And at this time, I just wanted to just thank you. Thank you for joining me today. Joining me on Learn at Home with VIA. Thank you for watching my video for my latest hike. Thank you for sharing with me a story that I wanted to just share with you about being out on a hike. Thank you for joining me and making some Chex Mix. And thank you for letting me show my ladybug and share a story with you. Take, take care, my friends. Go outside, enjoy the great outdoors, and let's go for a hike. Take care, thanks. Bye.